use a graph to solve the system. x plus y is equal to 7. x minus y is equal to 5. Well, let's graph each of these lines, and I'm going to use a t-table to do so, starting with our first line. And I want to plot intercepts. They're the, the quickest way to, uh, to graph a line. In this equation, if we let x equal 0, then y is equal to 7. If we let y equal 0, then x is equal to 7. So this graph has a, uh, the point 0, 7 as a y-intercept. So we'll go up 7 units. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Has an x-intercept of 7, 0. Out 7 units on the x-axis. Connect your points with a straight line. Extend them. Now let's graph our second line using the same approach, a t-table and intercepts. In this equation, if x is 0, then y is negative 5. If y is 0, then x is positive 5. So this line has a y-intercept at 0, negative 5, an x-intercept at 5, 0. Let's connect those points with a straight line and extend it. Now, when we want to solve the system, we're looking for this intersection point. And it appears that that intersection point is at um, x equals 6, y equals 1. So I believe that the solution is 6, 1. But we need to go ahead and check that, especially when we're uh, solving a system by graphing. So let's check that proposed solution in both equations. Starting with our first equation, x plus y is equal to 7. If x is 6 and y is 1, then we definitely get a true statement. Going to our second equation, x minus y is equal to 5. Is 6 minus 1 equal to 5? Yes, it sure is. So we get a uh, true statement there as well. So our solution is definitely 6, 1. Let's summarize and say then that the solution set is this point at 6, 1.